Hi, I just wanted to create this video to demonstrate how to set up a Kiali UI development environment um, so that we can you know, do rapid changes on the UI and, and instantly see the changes uh, connecting to uh, backend by the proxy. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so to show you our current state, let's go ahead and uh, see what pods we have running. So the pods we have running right now, so we do have Kiali, it is running. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, create a new new dashboard with of Kelly. So let's go ahead and run Istio of the dashboard Kelly. And what that's going to do is allow us to log into Kelly, admin admin. Okay, so all right. So we see we do have uh, an instance of uh, default instance of Kelly running there. All right. Okay, what we're going to do now is uh, actually update that instance of Kiali uh, to a latest development instance. So let's on master. So let's go. We're going to the uh, uh, Kiali website, Kiali.io. You know, make this one a little bit bigger. Um, so if we go to the getting started and scroll down to a development install. Okay, so we have the bash command here for a development install. And the import, one of the important things for development is that we set this accessible namespaces. Um, otherwise, we don't, new namespaces that we added add will not show up in, in Kiali. Uh, they need to be uh, specifically whitelisted or, or blacklisted. Um, this just sets it to read any, name, any new namespaces that we add. So for development, that's what we want. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna paste that command back in. Here, I'll put it down here. Clear that out. And we're gonna add uh, one more thing here, which is uh, the other trick is we want the actual latest version of Kiali. So uh, we're gonna say uh, KIB latest. Um, and that's gonna give us master. So if we want to see exactly the commands we can use with that, we can go look at this script here. Yeah, let's open up another window. Dude. And we can see all the options that we have here. Um, so the specific option uh, that we that we want to use here is the uh, uh, Kiali, Kiali image version. Um, so uh, by default, it's the last release, um, which we, for what we're doing, we don't want the last release. We actually want to set it to uh, the latest, uh, which would be master. So you can see this can be set to latest, which it, which in case is the latest uh, image installed. All right. Okay, so what we actually want to run here is uh, this development install command. Um, but we're going to add one thing to it, and that is the KIV latest, like we just talked about. Okay, it says Kelly has already uh, been installed. Do you want to uninstall it? Uh, yes, we do. We want to install a new version. We'll let it do its thing. And this might take a few minutes. Okay, now we're being prompted uh, for a login strategy. Um, for development, I definitely recommend the anonymous. This doesn't require any kind of tokens and stuff then. Okay, it's been created. Okay, we see we have the uh, Kiali pod coming up. It's uh, zero of one, so we're not quite ready yet. Okay, let's see if our uh, Kiali pods are up and running yet. Oops, spelled wrong.
Okay, and we can see that our Calipod is up and running. All right, so now we can go back and get our dashboard running again. And for whatever reason, that is giving us an HTTPS error. Uh, I've seen this before. Let's go ahead and add the HTTPS to it. Okay, so now we have a new version of Kiali that's the latest from Master. Um, and we can see now that we are running as anonymous. Uh, that's your sign there. Um, if we want to do an about, um, we can see that it's Kiali UI and you'll see that it'll be dash edge and that the Kiali server is the latest and Kiali container latest. So this is how you know um, that uh, we're running on the edge stuff now. So this is great for development. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to take that uh, the proxy port um, and put that into our local dev environment. So I have the uh, Kiali UI checked out um, onto my system here, and I actually have it in a IDE form here. And what we want to do is add the proxy to the package JSON. So I'm just going to use a little trick here. We're going to go into uh, show history, and I'm just going to take my local history and put the proxy port in. Uh, you might have to type this in yourself here, but that's quite easy. So type the proxy and whatever port we want. Um, so the port we want is up here. So we can see it's uh, 55150. So let's go ahead and change that. All right, that should do it. So now we have the proxy set up for our new backend um, that is a uh, development backend right from master. And we have our uh, UI proxying to that backend. So now all we need to do is uh, type yarn start. And now our UI that we're editing will automatically uh, go to the, the back end, be proxied to the, the back, current back end. Okay, so now we can go over here and see that uh, we have the localhost 3000, uh, which is our you know, locally running uh, version that we can modify and see the changes. Um, well, it's running on anonymous now, um, as opposed to our Kelly uh, local host that's running on uh, 551150. Um, remember, that's that's the host that's running on the Kelly server, and this is our yarn yarn host that's running our UI. That's uh, local host 3000 that we have proxied to this backend, which is the 55150 backend. So. So hopefully this has given you some uh, insights into how to set up your uh, Kiali UI uh, development instance and hope to see some contributions from you. Thanks.